caméras, dans est-ce que les collègues, est-ce que peut-être que les collègues, parce qu'on voit l'image prépositionnée, sont. Hi, bitch. <laughs> What the fuck? So we have. Wait, I'll watch this. So we have 1st May today. Today is, uh, as my predictions go, will be like a, a really big culmination of uh, the manifestations that are going going on in Paris. Because uh, in the past, like how fucking many weeks or months, we have this yellow vests going on. I think it's like five months already. I mean, I don't really notice that because they are every time in a Saturday, but on Saturdays I work I work in a place that is really close by these manifestations, but I can like cut out because I'm too busy with my work, so I, I don't really know what's happening, even though like outside of the uh, of the stepping door there's like uh, battles throwing out and like uh, things happening but i just like to bother by work i guess it's 1 pm like the manifestations like they are now but at the same time it's kind of like what the hell it's kind of like the only day in in a year that i have off but, but i don't know what what to do uh, like i'm I'm bored, but I want to go out and see what's up, like up close <laughs> or something. But I need to like step out from my bed. This is going pretty nicely, I might say. I mean, the things that are hap happening at this hour, that's, that's pretty soft, to be honest. So, I mean... It's only like starting, so I mean, it's 1 p.m. but it will get worse. But I am kind of like, I think I want to like go out today and see what's up. Um, to see if like the Eiffel Tower will fall or something, or like someone will bomb something. Because uh, today we have the manifestations because of the 1st May and this yellow vests will add up to the crowd so you know at the same time that's kind of like why i love paris <laughs> because it's so much chaos happening here that uh, you don't really know what's up <laughs> like you can't really be bored here up until you want to be bored it's kind of like you have entertainment outside on on the streets but it's kind of like <laughs> <laughs> I might as well just uh, like start preparing myself, I guess. <laughs> okay, I think we are ready. To be not, to be honest, too bad that I don't have like uh, some kind kind of a gun or whatever or like knives at least <laughs> to just like kill off the the things that will be happening in a manifestation. But whatever, I mean. I guess I need to do somehow without my knives. I left them in Poland, too bad I didn't bring it to France, so... There's no killing anybody now, but okay, well... I guess we'll see what's happening on the streets. <laughs> I mean, this this should be an interesting day. <laughs> I think I will be a little bit confused how to record on the streets, because, I mean, I don't really do that, so... <laughs> uh, well, I mean... What a lovely day for some distractions in Paris. I mean, it's really a miracle that this city is still alive by this point. But you know, that's that's what's up. I'm kind of surprised that there are still some people and like cars going by here. I mean, I thought everything would be like shut down really. That's what they kind of like told on the news, but I don't think that's the case anyways. I think our initial plan today is basically just to go to Trocadero and like check if the Eiffel Tower is still intact. 
because I think that's kind of like what will be the main point of events today even though they don't say that in news I think Trocandero and From the Mars will be like the center of everything and I don't really plan how to go from there I thought to go by the river because that's kind of like what crosses Paris anyway so I think we need to first things first start on Trocadero and see if there are some um, uh, terrorists. So far I'm kind of like it's out underwhelming. I expected some bloodshed by now but kind of like all I'm getting is some springtime bullshit in Paris. I don't know I think I need to search like deeper but we're, we're on Trocadero soon so we will see. So, so we're on Trocadero, but I don't really see anything suspicious to be honest here. Like the Eiffel Tower is still here, which is a shame, I guess. But nothing really out of ordinary here. I don't know. You will have something here, but I think it's maybe it's too early to be honest. So. I mean, wait. Some of the marks there is like full. Like, there's something there, but I don't know what. Mm. I don't know. I love how these uh, blacks are trying to sell me the Eiffel Tower statues, that, and they think that I am like not. I'm like a tourist here, even though I'm here like so far, like about two years. But you know. I guess shit's cool. It's kind of like up until you you take your phone out out of your pocket, you immediately become a tourist here. <laughs> because so far, like I live here so far, like two years, but I've never been um, like asked to buy something from these uh, people that sell some bullshit here. But. Immediately when I whip out a telephone in a trocadero Suddenly I am a foreign here even though I speak their fucking language I don't know. So far like nothing is happening here to be honest I, I expect some bumps like I don't know <laughs> The fountain is not on which is a bit weird like it should be on by now It's basically summer here I still to this day remember that uh, every time there was like event going on in Pokemon Go I, was, I would every event come here to just like catch Pokemon with, with people and that's kind of like works because uh, because of the cellular activity here is so high because there are so many tourists you can catch so many Pokemon it's irrelevant information but yeah <laughs> I'm a little bit confused to be honest where to go because I should cross the Seine, the river and then go by the river through Montparnasse to Hotel de Ville but... I don't know I don't, because I don't really know where the manifestations are going on except it's in, on east of Paris which doesn't tell me much but when the time will flow, basically they will move to the west of Paris and I think I, I know to that because I know on the Champs Elysees it's blocked so I think going uh, by the blocked um, streets I should eventually uh, meet the manifestations because where the police is, the people are to be honest so that kind of like makes sense so I think I will just straight up go to Chanzise through Kleber or like through the river to the Chanzise. I know like Paris is so simple to walk when you are living here because basically every street goes by to the to the big streets and then you just go everywhere. And Paris itself it's not really a really big city. And because recently I re realized that Paris is as big as my hometown, which is Austin in Poland. Uh, like it, the square meters are basically the same, but in Paris there's 10 times more people. So it's kind of like 
it's packed but it's still not really a big city even though it is considered big because all around Paris you have these small villages that can like make what people perceive that well, I think we're getting close there I spotted some police here so I think we're closing the distance to the people <laughs> Spotted some Polish bus. <laughs> There's actually so many fucking tourists today, like, I'm a little bit uh, surprised. In the day of chaos, there are still. <sighs> I mean, that's Paris. Paris is all about chaos and uh, balancing out these things here. <laughs> In the distance, Notre Dame that got completely fucked by the flames. <laughs> To be honest, maybe it's a good idea to just take a boat and like see from the river what's happening. Mm. I mean, it's not a bad idea. So I am near Francis over the bridge and I think I've hit already fucking impasse because there's already blocked the streets to the Francis. Mm. Let me see. There's some other way to go there. I don't know. Like, what the hell? It's getting challenging to be honest to cross any road net right now. Um, I asked the policeman if I can cross, and he said no, to just like go other way around. But at the same time, it's still the same street, so I don't know. I think they're still not closing the streets, but some they're like starting, I guess. See, it's the same street to Saint Isaac. I don't get it. Like, why this one is not closed, but some small one that is not even going to Saint Isaac for some reason is closed. The hell? That's some choices, I guess. Which let me tell you something. Like, Saint Isaac is open, and I I don't fucking know why. It's like the most important street to close, and usually it's the first. Like. Like everything is working here, like you have the police cars and stuff like that. But the street is still available available. Like Okay, I mean I don't know. I mean I guess by Argutian there's still sound in there but I think it's still a little Here's the classic cardboard that is still each Saturday and even today. Today I think they told them to do like a 5 centimeter thick ones. You know, it's because that they're just... The insurance companies are like too lazy nowadays now to like refund all the destructions because it's like already 5 months in and like I don't know who still prospers in this uh, uh, e-franchise, but I don't think they are going and I think they are out of business already, <laughs> to be honest. It's like so much destruction in Paris, so I don't think they have any money left. <sighs> so knowing that Transisa is still intact, I think we should just like head up to the obelisk area like near the Louvre I guess it's kind of like now Tour de Paris now <laughs> I'm going like all around the city <laughs> to see what's up but um, I think now we will make a stop near the Louvre we will see if something's happening there but I do like like today we have French tanks on the streets but I wonder if they go faster going backwards like the legends say, we have a problem now because the street to the Louvre is closed and I think something's happening finally but I can't turn to the sun, I can only turn left but the left is like the Lafayette and like the fashion mall uh, area I don't know like I'll figure it out, I guess. 
these tanks are so pretty though. Fuck man. I have a weird feeling that the exact same street that I could not go into uh, like a uh, couple of minutes ago. <laughs> oh well, I mean, I think we will just turn to the sand there or like cross that and then go through Notre Dame. It's like a labyrinth today. While we are here, uh, this museum is, for me at least, the best museum that there is in Paris. It's basically the museum that uh, people going to college go for some classes, usually. And it's the Museum of Technology and Science and it's really like the best one that there is so far. It's called... no. I mean, Museum of Technology. It's basically next to the uh, Champs Asia. Okay, it's called Palais de Couvert, basically. So in English it basically says Palace of Research or like, you know, whatever the fuck, I guess. <laughs> I think I'm stupid. I just could go to the bus and just like take videos from there. What the hell? Crossing the river. I guess. I mean, I don't really have much choice because I wanna cross the borders the police did. I need to cross the river and then go through. I don't really know what's there. <laughs> Usually things are happening on the, on the north side of the Seine, but on the south one, I don't really know the Paris that well, except like, no, I actually don't know <laughs> the hell. Um, so I guess uh, we are discovering Paris today too. <laughs> I'm actually pretty fucking stupid because on the south of Paris we have these fucking gardens with this palace. I forgot how it's called, but uh, I actually know. Yeah, there's no way I will cross there. Ah, uh, fuck. I don't really know what... I think the Louvre is starting there because you have an obelisk. So I'm assuming Louvre is somewhere there. We have Notre Dame like there, but it's not that far. So I guess we will just catch on on that. Vlogging in Paris is so fucking forgiving. Just because there are so many tourists here, you just can get away with feeling anything, and no one will fucking tell you anything. So I guess that's a plus, right? <laughs> enough we can cross the bridge to the Albertis. I'm not really surprised but fuck. I don't know I mean I can cross there there are people um, I crossed the bridge but you have a blockade here but at the same time you go go to Louvre I don't know how the blockades work today but I'm a little bit confused but I guess we'll go through the Louvre to the east of uh, Notre Dame, I guess. Well, I'll try. <laughs> My secret fetish is actually being an incognito Polish person because now it's kind of like uh, I hear Polish uh, sentences from, from Polish people, but I don't really fucking admit that I'm Polish here, so. <laughs> Sometimes it's a bit interesting, so that's a fetish, I guess, of mine. <laughs> so I'm assuming there is close because. The obelisk is closed on the other side, so but nothing is closed here. Like I can still go straight up there, even though the sides are closed. The hell! I'm really fucking confused. Where the hell am I? Because Louvre has two sides, but I don't really remember on what side you have the pyramid and like stuff, but. I mean... Yeah, I definitely am confused. Like, you have a pyramid right there, I guess. With some policemen on horses, I guess. <sighs> yeah. Like, huh. yeah, I'm in Louvre. Uh, I need to backtrack here. I don't know what side, to be honest. Because I know, like, behind there, there's the chaos that's happening. 
I mean, it should be, <laughs> but. Mm. Which car are you? Okay, so the Louvre is closed actually. Like, people are still here, but the actual Louvre is closed. So I'm assuming there, like right behind, should be what we are looking for. Hopefully, bloodshed. So we're saying how Paris is small to compare. I went from my home here in one hour and I already crossed like one third of Paris in a length basically. So you can basically cross whole Paris in three hours if you're just walking through the street uh, city. So you can tell how Paris is small, like it's fucking insane. But you know, that's... Uh, the Paris is magical, that's why there are so many um, <laughs> assumptions of that. Definitely close because I can hear the parade and the manifestation, so... But I can't cross the gates here, so I don't know how to cross that. We'll see. The actual jetpack, I think, would be handy right now, like to just fly over this fucking wall. Now I can't go. I need to go around. My... It's not be that hard to find them. <laughs> the horde. The hell? Now I fucking want. Wait, that's not Notre Dame, right? I don't really remember how it looked like. I think it was way bigger. Um, no, I don't think so. Man, it's already like so hot for me. I'm mainly a winter person and it's like 20 degrees right now Celsius, so it's not that hot, but for me it's like hot as fuck. So I guess the summer will be brutal this year. I hope I will be working like a fridge or something. The other news flash is that uh, um, the work I got like uh, two months ago or like one month ago, uh, I got uh, it's the business is uh, f finished basically. So yeah, at the end of May I need to search another work again. Which is annoying, but I mean, that's kind of like Paris for you. <laughs> you need to adapt so fast to the things that's happening here. Fuck, man. It's a shame, but you can't do much about it. Pont Neuf. Uh, well, that's the thing to go to the island of the Notre Dame, so let's see how it, how it is now. Eiffel Tower still intact. I don't really get why, I still don't see any horde demolishing everything, like, what the hell, like, I'm basically at least like half kilometer from them, I think, but still everything is normal, <laughs> like, <laughs> what a shitty off day, I guess. Another shitty concert. That's chaos right there. Okay, I found some good spot here to see the what got burned. I mean, I'll try to go back door, but because the front didn't really get burned, like but like the top of the back, kinda. Let's see from the other side. I think I will. I'm a little bit fucking over searching the horde. And I guess I'll just cheat on the internet and I'll see what it is. Because that's just. Are they hiding? I don't know. Here it is. It really doesn't really, it doesn't really matter. Like in my eyes, it's just. I mean, I'm a Christian or whatever, but I don't really practice that. But at the same time, for me, it's not really a tragedy. It's a tragedy for the history or whatever. But for me, it's just a normal building. 
Stop bullshitting around I, and just search this chord because that's just. I don't know. I I don't think I will just find them by by just walking around the city. I need to see on the news where they are and just go there and that's it, that's it, I guess. So I'll just search that. So I just search on the internet and apparently I'm just in the wrong fucking place <laughs> because I'm in the center of Paris but they are pretty much all over the south of Paris like the area area of Montparnasse and Place d'Italie but I don't really know why there like there's nothing there so maybe that's a good place to demolish I guess it's a bit weird but it's even a little bit far away I'm I mean, I'm walking there, but at the same time, it's, it's like three, four kilometers still. But I you know we will see what what will be on our way, I guess. But here's another good shot of Notre Dame, I guess. Yeah, the tower I think was there, but I can't see it now. Oh well, whatever. It's like closing in to 4 p.m. now, so I'm assuming I will go there by 5 p.m. But I don't know if there will be anything left. One thing I love to do in Paris is whenever I am in a new area or whatever, I just turn on every application, like dating app I have, and I'm kind of like marking my area. <laughs> so basically, I'm logging in just to log in to just show up on the search bar not really texting or what like seeing if something someone else is in the area but just like opening and just like closing right away and that's my way of like having a marking an area of presence like a fucking dog being on the bushes or whatever so fucking surprised how hard it is to find this manifestation even though they say in the news that they are everywhere like they are fucking not <laughs> I mean usually they were each Saturday in the center like on the Trocadero, Chanzilla, stuff like that but uh, after I don't know I think 20th of 20 uh, 20 I don't know on some uh, week they just went too far that they closed for all the, of the manifestations the the area <laughs> the area of uh, Champs Elysees so I don't know now it's too hard and now to think about it like why there were streets closed on the Champs Elysees stuff like that like the next to it but there's nothing there like everything is happening is on the south according to the news maybe it's false information so maybe I'm going to nowhere so well, finally some blocked place I was afraid that I'm going in the wrong direction but I think I should go by these cars right? Hmm. I start to hear some voices so that's good finally fucking who would have thought it would be so hard to find him? Oh, well, finally some action going on, I guess. We'll see. <laughs> Yay, finally chaos! So they are going basically on the left, I think. Yeah, they are going left. I need to turn somehow, I know how. Mm. That's not French flag. Abu? Let's see from under angle. Uh, okay, so I think that the square that the news were transmitting to be honest 
I'll see on the other side something, maybe something, something, I don't know. To be really quite honest with you, I don't really know why they are walking, like they're just walking and just like doing nothing at all. So I don't really see the point of it. I don't know man, like... I thought like manifestations are more exciting. But it's just fucking walking into like nowhere. I don't know. I don't even know if there's even like any point that they're just like going. On the side there are like lots of people but like I don't know. Is it really interesting at, at least? I mean I saw on the relation like one year ago there was like a distraction or whatever like it was dangerous, so I was attracted by that, but at the same time it's just like fucking walking and I don't know what's the point. It's kind of like... To be completely honest, that's nothing that, that interests me. Just walking, so I, I think I'll just walk around a bit more, but I don't think I will stay. This is just fucking mess. Pense en tirer un, un bénéfice. Mais aujourd'hui, celui qui sème le désordre, c'est Emmanuel Macron. Mais bien sûr que c'est très important. C'est très important que les Français se saisissent de cette élection qui est la seule. Et... See, like I'm searching for that, the clips that are in the news. But I don't know where the fuck is it. Like it's not here, but I'm here. So what the hell? I would, I, I'll just like go see but I don't think I'll just stay here because that makes no sense it's just a waste of time just as well the others I don't know why they're doing that I just passed the blockade there like makes no sense to stay here at all so I mean, I'm a little bit disappointed, but at the same time, it's just like, uh, if there would be like guns, knives, stuff like that, sure, I would have fun, but what the hell, that's just like, I guess I'm not really into manifestations that are passive, I guess, <laughs> which I thought it would be active, but I guess I was wrong, so, the conclusion of that is that, it's a parade, it's not a manifestation, so that's a little bit weak, I guess. Maybe it will be stronger at the evening, but I have things to do. <laughs> but uh, I guess that was ni a nice stroll around the city. I'm a little bit surprised that the subway works here, like in the area. What the hell? <laughs> Thoughts. <laughs> I'm back at the Trocadero and the Eiffel Tower is still here. I'm disappointed. Well, let's just go to Calm, I guess. Uh, well, could be better, I guess. Like the hell, 
I kind of understand why the president of France, the current one, doesn't give it really two facts about this because like it's just people walking like I mean there might be some uh, irregular trees I guess in between but there's it's nothing uh, impactful I guess I'm not really a person for manifestations or just like marches so I don't really get the point of that and uh, after today I guess I still don't get it for me it's just like a waste of time to be honest so I don't know um, I guess it, w it was nice to stroll around Paris I guess but other than that I don't really get the whole phenomenon of that <laughs> well anyways um, just deteriorate from the subject anyways of this fucking manifestation of the very Paris um, I plan I plan to do finally something with gaming or whatever um, because I was planning to buy a PC and because of the fact that I my cafe, uh, cafe is uh, closing I need to find another job so I will just like stay um, safe I guess uh, with the money for now so when I will get uh, another job again I will try to uh, finally um, buy the whole set or whatever. I was thinking recently to just buy the Oculus Quest without the PC to just like test out the waters with the VR. And uh, I think it, it, it's really, it seems like a really cool idea to just like test out this before the actual, if I would just get Oculus Rift, Rift test or whatever with the monster PC that I wanted to buy but yeah I think that's just the focus for me uh, for that now and like do some paperwork and stuff like that so I th I, I'm like trying to figure out um, the next one two months most likely like that so um, yeah Cool update, I guess. Like, it was not really anything special, at least for me. I expected some bloodshed, some bumps, or whatever, but everything is fine. Which is not fine for me. <laughs> but okay, well. I, I'll just do some dinner. <laughs> so, I guess that's it.